State your name for the record. EJ. EJ who? Booth. All right, EJ Booth. Before we go into this getting our signs, because we did work on that, is today we worked on adjustments. So if the ball is high up here, you know that I need to bring my chest forward more and reach in front of my nose. Because my nose what? Nose. Nose, yes, of course. That's on a high pitch. That's your adjustment on a high pitch. Now, if it happens to go low or bounces, first of all, congratulations, he's not going to hit that unless he's playing cricket. But if, he, if you're throwing a ball low all the time, when do I push my hip out? When, when your leg hits the ground. No, when your leg not hits the ground, but when it... When it drops. That's the only one you're taking a while. That's your weakest link today on learning because you've been learning everything good all day, but that's where you stop. But that's why we got it on film. So you can watch this next time and remember before you come in, right? Good. All right, let's look at you because you threw a nice, good low pitch on this. Here's you getting your signs. Well, let's watch it first. Let's watch it in real time. And he puts down, he puts down curveball. You shake your head no. Shake no. Now he puts down fastball. Shake your head yes. Good. Now put it right there. Deep breath. Nice. Good. Good low pitch, right? Right under the chair, right? So let's watch and see how we did that. Let's you getting your signs. Good. Coming to your set. And this is where you're breathing, right? When I come here and I'm lifting up, as I lift up my leg, I'm breathing in. And when my glove goes there, I start breathing. I start breathing out. That relaxes us. And you got to be relaxed when you pitch. Oh, you got that high hand hold. See how you're holding your hands real high? And that's how you break. Then you take it down there and you break. So you have that movement from here to here. That's your style. That's called your style. And as we're lifting the leg, let's take a look at everything today, right? As we're lifting the leg, good, look, we start moving forward, right? Good job, pal. Now we're doing this a little bit, but we're still working on that. You remember what that is? The greater than sign, all right? So we still want to bring that upper body with the hip, but that's pretty good. You're moving now, pal, you're moving now. Good, your front foot is staying closed. See the front foot? What I mean by closed is you keep pointing it this way the whole time, that's what we want it to do. Now we still need to get some forward momentum because you're starting to open a little early and you're pulling out. So because this is holding us back, see the greater than sign? Once you get this even with that, then you shouldn't be stepping on that line anymore, okay? You gotta get just a little more momentum so you don't pull out a little early. But let's take it to the end of the stride. And look how we're, that's not bad, but remember the train light. We need to be at the train light when we land. When we land, you started throwing, see it? So that's something else. But you get more momentum, that may slow that up, right? Because we need that not to happen so early. If you could land like this, that'd be a perfect place to land, just like that. But look how far your foot is off the ground. Look, see it? So we got to get a little bit more momentum to get that foot to get going, all right? Can we use one of these sides real quick? Yeah. All right, so good job. Let's finish up.